Saga. Okay, this intro is so badass. He's a knuckles. Okay, that was badass. <laughs> I did not expect that. Um, hello everybody, I'm Zenith Warrior Princess, the cutest of Bonds. Welcome to Fun Plays, where I play through one of the numerous games in my collection, and today we're going to be playing through Sonic Origins, and I'm going to let this intro play out again. Um, this is an amazing intro, um, and I'm going to get through like a little bit of the starter spiel and we can get started. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm playing the Sonic Origins version of Sonic 1 for this Bun Plays, um, and this is a brand new game that just came out, it's an updated version of a bunch of classic Sonic games. Um, as I stated in the primer, I have some experience with Sonic, but not a lot. Like, essentially, I've played through Sonic 1 in its entirety, I've beaten it, I've played Sonic 2 in its entirety and beaten it, but it's been a while since Sonic 2, and I don't have um, as much memories. Uh, so recently, what I did to prepare for this Let's Play, I went back through, and I played uh, Sonic 1 on the PS3 collection, it's the Sonic Ultimate Genesis collection, and I was just like, all right, let's get this ready. Let's get ready for this Let's Play Bun Plays. Um, and I have thoughts on Sonic. Um, I kind of have mixed feelings on Sonic 1, but we're going to get through them as we go. Uh, but I figured PS5 version of Sonic Origins, get the most out of this hardware. Let's play it. Let's have fun. We're going to get all the Chaos Emeralds. We're going to have a good time. Um, and I don't want to skip this opening cutscene so it's because it's so good, but um, we should probably get to the game after this plays. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, I'm a casual Sonic fan. I've only really played Sonic 1 and 2 fully. I played um, a little bit of Sonic Adventure 1 at a friend's house, and I played Sonic Adventure 2 at another friend's house, but I never really, like did much with these games. I did more with Sonic Adventure 2, but like, it's one of those franchises that I've been wanting to get into. Um, unfortunately, like, what happened with me is I started getting into it at Sonic Adventure 2, and then I played Sonic Heroes, and I didn't really like the control scheme, and so I stopped, and then I played Sonic Riders, and I didn't really like that. I was just like, that's enough Sonic for me. So, like, years later, I went back to Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, played them through on the PS3. Those are the only two that I've completed, so this is all new to me. Um, I, I love the graphics here. I'm interested in seeing how we're going to do. I am not sure um, exactly. Wait, let's see. Oh, we have a map. Okay, so we can go to Sonic the Hedgehog 1, which is going to be our Let's Play. There's Three Knuckles, CD, Sonic 2, uh, Missions, and the Museum. Obviously, for this Let's Play, we're going to focus on Sonic 1, because that's what this is all about, getting me into Sonic 1. Um, but that's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what these modes do. Alright, let's just play the game as it was intended to be played. Yes, it's more high def, but I don't care. It's going to be fun. So, start. And of course, Final Fantasy XIV updated while we're doing this. Uh, I love Final Fantasy XIV. Let's continue. Down and X is spin dash. Okay. Chaos Emerald waits deep in the special stage. We're not going to do that this playthrough. We're going to go through another playthrough with uh, Tails and Knuckles, and we're going to go for that. 
But for right now, I just want to focus on enjoying the game. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to start with this. Ooh. It's Sonic! Watch out for the bugs! <laughs> oh, it's the evil Dr. Robotnik! Doom, doom. Da, da, da. I do love the boss music. And we got a trophy for playing the intro cutscene of Sonic. Sega. Um, I'm going to let this demo play out because if you don't press start immediately at the title screen, it'll just start the demo. And uh, I learned that the hard way, but I'm not going to press start. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Essentially, that cutscene does a better job of the original Genesis game because essentially the story is very simple. You're Sonic, a hedgehog, and the evil Dr. Ivo Robotnik is trying to capture all of the animals in the forest and turn them into robots for some nefarious purpose, and it's up to us. Sonic, with our attitude and our fastness, we had it. We gotta stop him. That's the story. Very simple. So, with that being said, let's let's get going. And th because this is Origins, we can pick our character. I'm gonna do this with Sonic. It's gonna be a full classic game. But we can spin dash. This was not in the original game. Um, so. Like, that's interesting. Um, I love Green Hill. Green Hill is, to me, one of the best designed st uh, zones in the game. It has some of the best music in the game. Um, it just, it's a lot of fun. It has a lot of hidden goodies. Um, and it's just, it's so fun to just blast through. And I don't have to fear, like, obviously there's enemies and and stuff to, to defeat, but there's not like a lot of bottomless pits. Uh, there's not a lot of beginner's traps, as I like to say. And there's multiple pathways that I just like to go check out. Um, I always go for the top path. Um, top path usually has the better goodies, in my opinion. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have some goodies, defeat some robots. Come here, robot, robo-bug. And yeah, we have these monitors that give us like power-ups and um, it's it's just classic gameplay. I think the really big appeal of Sonic to me is that it's it's a one button game. You just jump and you run, um, but it's a one button system and it's set up to be very simple to pick up and play and it's a lot of fun to blast through uh, with your blast processing. Now, obviously, uh, a lot of this is about centering on going fast, and uh, I'm just kind of casually going through right now. But, uh, sometimes you can just enjoy yourself with the world of the game. Because there's a lot of different pathways and things to explore, and it's not necessarily just about going fast for me. It's like, oh yay, we got a hundred rings, extra life, yay. Um... But yeah, I, I like this. Um, I, I I hear something about a drop dash. I've never used that. But I know there's a spin dash that wasn't originally a thing until Sonic 2. And I didn't mean to do that. But uh, I guess we'll be going to the special stage this round. <laughs> Let's just have fun with Green Hill. And these fishies have it out for Sonic. Like, you just, you gotta stay in your lane, bro. <laughs> Cause he's Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he got an attitude. Danky Kang, he's the fastest thing alive. Nani? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very simple pick up and play type game and everyone can get into the groove. And I think like, Green Hill is such a well-designed area. 
where anyone can just easily understand the mechanics without having to be told what to do and know, okay, well, those are obviously spikes. Those are bad. That's bad, okay? And so we're, we're gonna defeat the robots because those are bad, okay? Okay. And uh, we gotta defeat the motobugs. I don't like the motobugs. Those are, they stop your speed and your tracks, um, and they're probably my least favorite enemy. I, <laughs> dang chameleons coming out of nowhere. And, and see, like, if you search, like, they, there's a bunch of just hidden, like, springs and goodies everywhere on Green Hill, and I'm just like, yeah, I found a hidden secret. I'm, I'm smart, even though I'm probably not, but <laughs> I'm a bunny, and I'm, I'm, a he I, I'm Zenith the Bun Buns. Alright, and now we got to Green Hills Act 3. This is where things start getting a little bit tougher. A little bit tricky. Tricksy. Those tricksy little hobbitses. Sneaky little hobbitses. Uh, and they have deadly bee weapons, my god. Stupid deadly bees, get out of my get off my clout. I, I don't I don't like these bees. And these these chameleons. <laughs> This is all Dr. Robotnik's doing. I jumped right on top of the motobug. What the hell? You saw that. Mama's a liar. That's a questionable hitbox choice right there. But okay. See, this is why I don't like the motobugs. The, the, the motobugs just like stop you in your tracks. But, uh... That uh, I've been defeated by a deadly bee weapon. Ah, uh, bees. My... <laughs> Would you let me go anywhere? <laughs> gotta go fast. More like gotta get stopped in your tracks. <laughs> uh, but I grab my rings and I'm fine. This is fine. This is fine. Um, but before I get attacked by the chameleons, I go for the top. Haha. -ha. A fist. He's a fast Sonic. Supersonic sneakers. Boop boo doo 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 doo. Oh. Maybe going too fast. Sonic, you're too fast for your own good. You broke the speed limit, Sonic. <laughs> what? Oh god. But yeah, Green Hill is is one of my favorite zones in the game because there's just so much to enjoy about the scenery and the area and there's not too much like what I call beginner's traps where you fall into it and you automatically like will die from something it's like yeah there are spikes and whatnot but like you can get your rings back easily and you can have a lot of fun with it so when it comes to this I'm just like okay I can have some fun act Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> As I was saying, you get your ring back, you can uh, take the lower road if you want. I don't like the low road. The high road always has the better goodies, but at le at the very least, it's not that bad on this run. Later on, there are bottomless pits that I do not like because uh, screw Scrap Brain Zone. I do not like Scrap Brain. Um, okay. Gotta get, I gotta get my rings back. As you can tell, I am not a seasoned veteran Sonic player. Um, <laughs> I've played... God damn it. I have played this game a couple times, and I know where, like, some of the secrets are and whatnot, but, like, I'm not, like, I'm not the type of player who can go through without getting hit and knows where all the enemies are placed. I'm not that kind of person. However, I do know one thing. And that the first boss is easy as fuck. So let us play and destroy the evil Dr. Robotnik. Where are my manners? One hit, two hit, red hit, blue hit. See, the thing with this guy is that you just gotta wait for him to swing his little thingamajig. There you go. You want, you want a piece? Uh, I'm getting a little bit too too cocky here, but he, the, that's the easiest boss in the game. <laughs> and we come over here, and we save all the aminals. 
See, I, I am pro animals. I, I go for the animals. And we got newbie hero. Let's see what this trophy is for. Defeat a total of 50 enemies. Okay. And here's where the panic sets in. God. Marble, I do not like. Marble is just, it's a slow change of pace because you have lava into the mix and you can't go fast because you have these like spiky bugs and lava and you don't want to step on them and you have Mario lava shooting out and it's like, okay, you can go fast for a little bit. There, there are some places where going fast is okay. But then later on it just goes so slow and I'm just like, Sonic is not the fastest thing alive anymore. <laughs> what, what happened to you, Sonic? You gotta get your groove back. Again. Like, this this part of the area is fine. But then you go to the underground, and that's where I don't like it, because this is Stop and Go Station right here. And, to be perfectly honest, I love the music in most of these stages. I do not like the Marble Hills uh, music. I don't think it's bad, it just doesn't... It doesn't evoke the right atmosphere to me. Like, it's fitting, but it doesn't have, like, it, it's not engaging enough for me. I have to go slow for all these spikes, and it's just like, th this is the antithesis of Sonic to me. This is not Sonic. This is, this is like Blart the Hedgehog. It's the slowest thing alive, and I gotta keep waiting for these things to, to go down, and, and... Like, th this was blast processing, right? I'm sorry, I can't process all this blast. <laughs> I just gotta wait for the chandelier. And it's just, it's a game of, it's a game of stop and go. And I have to wait for these things. Okay. And I, I gotta jump on all these things. Okay. So now I'm back on the surface, but now there's more lava. Who put all this lava here? I, I mean, I, th I think... I think someone's committing insurance fraud with putting all this lava here, but you know. Normally I'm not that good at getting this many rings in Marble Hill. Back when, back in the days when score was actually something people liked. I, I don't care about high scores. I just care about being the game and getting my platinum trophy. And that's what we're gonna do. But for this one, because uh, Sonic Origins has a platinum for like ah, all the games. Uh, we're going to have to wait to get the platinum, but even still, um, I'm I'm happy to complete as much of this game as we possibly can in this let's play. Okay, here, here is where things get stupid. We have to go on this slow moving block through lava, and it's like the first stage wasn't as bad, but slow moving block through lava with like lava spouts. And we have if we have spiky things that we have to wait to jump on. I, this does not scream Sonic to me. It's like, hey Sonic, what you playing? I, I, I'm playing the go slow game. And why did that lava like stay there, waiting for me? That that this doesn't make sense to me. I. I I'm sorry, but that doesn't physics. It's a simple physics problem, just jump! Sonic, you make physics cry. And like, we're not even at the, the games where he's, he's running on water. But like, wow. So we go from one of the best designed zones in the game to this slow moving thing. And I have to try to hit the hitbox on the stupid thing. Whoever designed those like caterpillar enemies, I, I wanna sit you down and explain why you don't put a low ceiling with uh, with those hitboxes. And then we have this, where we, we go slowly, and slow is the key word here. Hi, I'm Sonic, I'm not, I'm not very fast. I hear I got a good movie, but I'm not very fast today. I, I haven't had my, my Wheaties or my Gatorade. Uh, and, come on, there we go. We get secret rings. With the seven rings in hand. Of course, this is the first game in the series, and we don't have secret rings or red rings or secret rings. We don't even have all seven Chaos Emeralds in this game. There's only six. We're just like, okay. That, that seems a little bit less, um, because there's no Supersonic in this game. Yeah, I was confused too. 
And it's like, in, in this stage, there's no alternate pathways. Um, you have to go in one route. And it, it feels a little bit much to me. Like, I, I understand what they were trying to go for, because Mario is the big name in town, and Mario had a lot of this underground platforming stuff. But if you're trying to go fast and have multiple pathways, this kind of goes against what you were trying to establish, I, I think, you know? Maybe that's just me as a casual Sonic fan. Also, <laughs> screw that block. I'm running through the lava. I don't want to have to deal with that. <laughs> I have invincibility. Invincibility. It's like the Mario Star only better. Now, who even has those chandeliers and why? I have so many questions from this game. But that's Marble Hill done. We're, we're plowing through this, but when we go, go for like... The actual, like, um, 50 rings so we can get the Chaos Emeralds. Oh boy, that's gonna be a lot of dying. Ow! <laughs> Did you see that? I hit him and he killed me after it died. This one actually does have multiple pathways. Which I'm like, okay. Because I could have gone further on or I could have stayed in this path. Which I'm like, okay. What do I... Oh. How was I supposed to know I could do that? <laughs> like, there was barely any room to maneuver. Uh, God. I think Sonic got jealous of Tetris and said, you know what, I can put blocks in my game. Screw that, Mario. Screw Tetris. I have my own game. It's gonna be special, spectacular. With blackjack and hookers. It's gonna be amazing. Wait, that's Spider-Man. Um. <laughs> now look at this. I'm just waiting. I'm sitting here waiting. Waiting for Godot. Let's not go into the spiky lava pits. Let's, let's not do that. These people just want Sonic dead. Who designed this, HR Geiger? No, that, that, he has better fashion sense than Robotnik. Let's, let's, let's be clear. HR Geiger knows how to rock a coat. Excuse me? And th to be clear, I like Dr. Robotnik. I like his design, but he doesn't have the best Fashion sense, if you know what I'm saying. If you catch my drift. You gotta- I, I love that shield sound. I really do. <laughs> and now it's another- like, the Crusher is like, stop and go station. It's like, I want to go fast. My name is Super Sonic, not Super Slow Racing. Can you feel the sunshine, people? Does it brighten up your day? Do you ever get the feeling that you need to run away? This seems like a death trap. So it, it probably is a death trap, but- <laughs> Whoever, whoever brought this, th th this is the worst bring your son to work day, or bring your hedgehog to, to work day I have ever seen. Zero out of ten, too much water, not enough lava. <laughs> what? Th how? I, I, what? Did you, th Tifa, I'm gonna need you to replay that for me. Like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> what? Th how? I, what? All right, and now more blocks. Okay. I am Sonic. I am the king of blocks. I'll rock the block. I can't. I can't process all that blast. It's. It's too. It's too fast. I gotta go fast. Wait. Uh, you can stand on top of spikes. Okay. I guess it's because he doesn't have a lot of weight to him. But really, uh, uh, what? <sighs> This is where I start getting frustrated. It's like that was a beginner trap because I have to wait and stop all this stuff. Okay. And then I have to know that this is a bottomless pit into lava. <laughs> but then there's these bats I have to defeat. And if you're fast enough, you can get past all that. But then if you're slow, you drop back down to the beginning. <laughs> so I guess Sonic has to be fast to wait to be slow. I, it, I've heard of too hip to be square, but too fast to be slow is is that's a that's a Schrodinger's riddle if I've ever heard one. Do 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 do. Okay, it, this music is growing on me. It's not my favorite track in the game, honestly. I don't think it's great, but it's not what I call bad. Like it's enjoyable in terms of music, but give me Green Hill over this any day of the week having all of this to contend with 
right out the starting gate. Right when I thought I was safe. Just when I thought it was safe to go back into the lava. <laughs> uh, ah, give me... Uh, there we go. <sighs> Damn it, Mario. This is all your fault with your, with your design. Alright, we did it. The boss isn't as bad. Thankfully. And go. So yeah, he just drops that, like, fireball. Okay. And so I just gotta avoid it. Much better. Oh, you think you're hot? With your Frieza spaceship? Well, guess what? Never underestimate that I am fast, okay? <laughs> and now you're blown up with your giant mustache. In Japan, he was known as Dr. Eggman because he's big and round and egg-shaped. And I think that's okay, but I prefer Robotnik. Marble Zone, the worst, is behind us. Everything is uphill. I do not like Marble Zone at all. And like, with Spring Yard, it has its problems. It has its slow moments, but nowhere near as bad as the previous stage. And it's like, a lot of the problems are more when you're going for the Chaos Emeralds, because I'm going through this really fast now. But when I was going for the Chaos Emeralds on the PS3 version, and we'll showcase that later, like, trying to get those 50 rings without dying sometimes is a chore. And yeah, this is where it starts getting a little bit eh for me. Like, you have all these slow moving blocks. So you have to go through the blocks, and you have bees. My god. A deadly bee weapon. What will Sonic do? No, not the bees! Not the bees! Take these slow moving blocks to freedom. But wait, there's something behind me! Ugh, I hate those robots. Those egg robots follow you. Granted, now we know you can stop them by, like, moving. But when I was a kid, I did not know. Like, I, I didn't know. So yeah, I like Spring Yard. I think it's an interesting stage, but it has a lot of like these little traps, like those spikes. I always forget they're there, so I jump right into them. But it's okay. I got this. I am I am Superior Hedgehog, Silver Superior Hedgehog. Like Spring Yard is both. It... Oh, secret! I forgot about this. Yeah, let's get all the rings in here. Spring Yard allows you to go fast, but it does have a lot of these points where I'm just like, you can't go fast. It, to me, it's not quite as good as some of the later stages like Starlight, but I really do enjoy some of the spring design and what it's trying to accomplish. I just feel like sometimes it is also the end. Where did... How could I tell where that was coming from? You stupid bug. I will have your job! <laughs> Let's try that again! God, I, I, I couldn't see where that was from, so how was I supposed to be able to contend with it? But okay, whatever. I, I am a hedgehog. I, I am Zenith the Bun Buns, and I will get through this. Death counter, one. I will not use save states for this playthrough. I, I used it for the PS3, but you know what? I'm gonna go through and just play through this game as intended. And ho that, where was that from? Like, how am I supposed to know as a beginner that that was supposed to be there? Like, I've played through the stage before and even I didn't know that they come from that angle. So I'm gonna sue them I'm gonna sue them. I, I This is uh, the, the Hedgehog Copyright Infringement Lawsuit Police. <laughs> I will sue them for all they're worth. Which is probably not much because they're animals. Alright, and... we. So yeah, there, there's questionable points in this game um, and in Spring Yard. But I do enjoy the general like idea. Like, welcome to pinball. Let's have fun. And I, I like how they utilize the enemies. I like how they have, you know, different areas that aren't as bad. And ooh, look, a secret. Ready? Haha. -ha. We secret, secret, secret door. Da 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 da. Yeah, that's not as hard as marble. Okay, okay, Mr. Bumper, let me go down. 
be... With this one, I, I, I always try to take the high road, and I never am able to get very far. I, I feel like they put a lot more enemies on the high road for this area, but there's a lot of goodies. I hate the hitboxes on these things. Where where are the hitboxes? Did you see? I jumped right on the spike, so how did I... I this What? <laughs> I jumped onto the spike to destroy it? But the first time I jumped on the spike, it didn't hit it. So, I... What? Sonic, I'm gonna have a talk to you about hitboxes. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's over here first. Because I feel like there's some sort of... Aha! Yeah! There we go. Ready? And Super Sonic Racing. There we go. Eat my dust, you spiky fiends. Ooh, and now it's time for the pinball. The pinball wizard. <laughs> boingy, boingy, boingy. I'm trying to get the, the little monitor underneath, and uh, that's not that's easier said than done. Because uh, the, the pinball is Hicks. <laughs> Despite all my rage, Sonic is still just a pinball in a cage. <laughs> just let me get to the thing. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic. I'm gonna have to have a word to you. Like, do you think he has a concussion yet? <laughs> Sonic says that concussions are no good. Sonic, I, I think you're gonna need some uh, some counseling for that trauma. There's a lot of head trauma. What? Well, it's instead of Friday Night Lights, this is you know Friday Night Head Trauma. CPU. Okay. Are we supposed to be in a CPU? I don't know. All right, so we gotta watch out for this spike -a jigger Ha, gotcha. You could, you thought you could sneak up on the great Zenith Bun Buns, but you could not. You thought wrong. Ha ha, I am the greatest hedgehog in the land. <laughs> I am Zenith Bun Buns, representing Captain Janeway. All right, and that's two. Boom. And boom goes the dynamite. All right, act three, let's go. I think this will be my last one for this Let's Play, and we'll render it, and we'll, we'll be good, because that's halfway through the game already. Um, And I have to say, when you're just playing through this game as normal, this is insanely fun. Like, despite some of my problems with the stages, and I do have problems especially with marble, like, this is just a lot of fun to blast through when you're just having fun. When you're just, like, blasting through a level and, like, playing with pinball physics and, like, just getting to the end goal is is a, a lot of fun. But, but trust me, when you go for the Chaos Emeralds, that's another story. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go down this way. When you go for the Chaos Emeralds, that is an entirely different story. Because getting the 50 rings without getting hit or dying is sometimes a pain in my hedgehog butt. Oh. I had a shield! <laughs> Sonic says that crushing spike blocks are no good. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. At least in this game, you have unlimited, unlimited lives, which, thank God for that. I never really liked the archaic live system. Like, this is a fun game. Don't get me wrong, this is an insanely fun game. But when you're worried about lives and having to go back to the start after each, like, it's just, it's not, it's not fun to do. So, you know what? I'm just gonna play this game the, as as the modern game as it was intended. Watch out for spikes. All right, we'll take the low road. Oh, there is no low road. You lied to me. Scotland lied to me. There is no low road in Scotland Yard. There is no Sonic in Ba Sing Se. There's no war in Ba Sing Se. All right. Uh, there we go. 
crab battle. I have destroyed so many crabs today. So, you know what? I can see why people loved this back in the day. If they weren't going for Chaos Emeralds, and, you know, even with lives, you could still have a very fun time with this game. I don't doubt that. Like, going from stage to stage, having fun, but then you have the Chaos Emeralds, and it's not essential in this game. It is very much not essential because there's no real reward. There's an alternate ending, but it's not good. So it's like, what I would recommend is just play this game normal for Sonic 1. Like, this is a game that you just casually run through, have fun, have some Sonic Bun Bun fun. Sonic the Bun Buns approves. But we'll talk about the problems when we eventually go for the Chaos Emeralds. I may be the fastest thing alive, but, um... I, I don't like spiky things. Spiky things are bad. Alright, so I'm supposed to go to the, the right, obviously. And you would think, you know, Sonic games, you're supposed to go to the right. Not every stage. Not every stage. You'd be surprised because Scrap Brain... Oh, we'll get to Scrap Brain next time. But God, Scrap Brain sucks. Scrap Brain wants you dead. It very much wants you dead. Alright. Rings. All your rings are belong to me. I was gonna try to take the high road, but you know what? Screw it. We're gonna Sonic Dash past all this. And let's go past this part. In fact, let's never deal with spikes again. Okay, that was close. I don't know how I did not get hit by any of those things. Like, how? The, the hitboxes in this game are questionable, but I love the physics. If there's one thing that Sonic gets right in this game, it's the physics. You know, the momentum, the weight, everything feels solid. And it's, again, it's a simple, easy to pick up game. Easy to pick up, easy to play. Anyone can figure it out. So yeah, I understand why this was a lot of people's favorite games at the time. Do I think it's perfect? No. But you know what, I think I think a lot of my perspective has been too harsh on the game because I went for the Chaos Emeralds first and playing through it normally like this, this is fun. I'm having a blast. Are you having fun? I hope so. Enjoy that blast processing. We're almost there. Okay, careful. I think these are bottomless. Okay, and now we come to the giant fuck you spike. See, this I like because it's simple, but also destroys the arena. So it's not just like, it's it, it's a spike that'll hit you, but if you fall in the, in the pit, it's bottomless. So that I can get behind. Ow. He crushed me with his fat body. Sonic. I thought you ate chili dogs for breakfast. You should be better than this guy. <laughs> Yeah, that was bottomless, damn it. <laughs> and uh, the ring auto saves at least, so I don't have to worry about doing all this again. But before I go in, Super Sonic Racing. Uh, don't look too closely at it. Uh, the colors. Okay, well that that didn't last long. I don't really see the point of that. <laughs> I gotta wait till he goes down. Uh, stupid spike. <laughs> oh my god, why? I remember this being easy the first time. Let us just try this again. I don't know what the death count is at, but it's probably high. <laughs> that was my bad. I was actually looking off to the side because my cat is grooming uh, himself in the background. And, uh, no. Chiaki, hi! Hi, Chiaki. I, I can't play with you right now. Okay, so I have to wait till he goes down, and he doesn't go down until, like, I'm under him. Alright, that was two hits. Come on, one more. One more. What you got, big guy? Alright, big fella. Come on. Oh, Let's try this again. I remember this being easy in my first playthrough. Maybe I'm... 
just misremembering it, or maybe I just uh, hit him a lot more in the first run than I remember. But we're gonna get through this, or my name isn't Zenith Bun Buns. I have to do this, and I have to complete every game. That is my task. All right, ready? And come on down. You can hit you coming up with the spike. Okay. I don't know how the, uh, that worked, but okay. <laughs> Physics. Right, come on, buddy. There we go. Woo. <laughs> First try. All right, and we saved the aminals again. Yeah. All right, I don't want to do Labyrinth Zone today. I have a question. Can I start from where I left off? That's a good question. Labyrinth Zone, I start exactly where I left off. Okay, with that being said, I am Zenith Warrior Princess, the cutest of Bonds. We are halfway through Sonic 1. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I know I am. This is one of those games that's very fun to play when you're just doing it as a straight game. But when completing it, it starts to become a headache, but we'll get to that next time. I'm Zenith Warrior Princess, cutest buns. Have a good one, everybody. My cats say hi. They love you all. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Bun Plays. Have a good one, everybody.